All right, guys, welcome back to um, to the moon. This, I am sure, will be the final part, part four. We are going to buck this one out, uh, finish her off. And um, to those of you wondering, because I said in part one, I have played this game before. I did not remember the reveal we had in part three at all, which is a huge surprise because it's like such a big deal in the game. Could not remember it all, like not a thing. So... Uh, yeah, that was, that was amazing. I, I can't believe I forgot such a huge detail of the story. So we'll, uh, we'll carry on here. I think these, yeah, these are the same. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm in like a, a market now or something. That's what we were doing. Oh, there's the boys. But I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. That's how I'd be as a kid too. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Oh, come on. He's a little kid. Johnny won it fair and square, didn't he? Oh, Joey, sorry. But I won too, he just went first. Hee <laughs> hee, it's okay, I'll let you play with it too. So that's the thing is, see how nice your brother is, Johnny? It's good that they share, but I don't know if the mom should say stuff like that. Okay, you dumplings, don't block the stand now. Come, let's go see what's over there. I'm not a dumpling. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to call you dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. Cool. We can talk to this guy. Hey, is that a whack-a-mole? Oh, whack-a-mole's awesome. Whack-a-what? Whack-a-mole. You take a mallet and whack-moles. Love that game. It's so fun. Isn't that animal abuse? Come on. They're fake moles, butthead. That's how people blew off steam before FPS were invented. Ah. First-person shooters killed the whack-a-mole, according to Dr. Watts there. How primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. <laughs> it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Want to play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Oh, yeah, I want to play. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes. Use mouse. Okay, here we go. Cool. Test out my whack-a-mole skills. Oh, yeah, there we go. They look like diglets, eh? For uh, you Pokemon fans out there. Oh. I wonder what will happen if I win. Oh, I missed one. Oh! Oh, I'm- oh! Seven seconds. Here we go. Whack the moles. Whack all the moles. 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 That was pretty good. I think I nailed it. Let's see now. Out of 45 total target appearances, you struck 65 times, made 40. 42! What's up? That's a 93% hit rate, you damn right it is. It's your new record. All right. So I get a little memory link for that, sweet. Um, is that it? Wanna play? Yeah? There doesn't seem to be any more memory links than this. I'm good, I don't need round two. I did, I did just fine. Ah yes, fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. A little fortune teller. I don't, I don't believe in fortune teller stuff at all. This one might just become a lawyer and this one a doctor. I mean, it's a fair, so. I, I would go to one at a fair just for the fun of it. Oh my. Come on, I'm getting both of you treats. Oh, she's so nice. That's the mom. Hey, where's my tip? This is a fun little uh, section of the game. We're just... Uh, oh, shoot. We're just exploring John's kid memory. Why? I'm trying to talk to the person, and they keep walking around the booth. Right there. No way, I ain't talking to her. Good or bad, I'd be screwed either way. <laughs> All right. Um shoot so I guess we're just following John and Joey and the mom around oh isn't it interesting too is this wherever this fair is taking place is the same place they built that lighthouse just kind of weird requires three bars of memory okay so I gotta do something else it's kind of weird that like the lighthouse wasn't there already unless they are just recycling territories in this game and this is supposed to be a different area but it, it looks just like you know where you would go for the lighthouse I, I might be I might be wrong. Welcome and behold, the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. All right, so this is just something to look at. Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. <laughs> don't know, don't care. Feel the same way. And you know, Ferris wheels in general, I'm not crazy about. It can't be the smallest Ferris wheel in the world. I just rode on a four-seater last month. This world's smallest Ferris wheel, everybody. Come and see and be odd. Who would be in awe of just a small Ferris wheel? Who cares? Maybe a, like a really big Ferris wheel, sure. OK, 
Okay, I know I talked to everybody here. Do I have three links yet? I only have two. Okay. I'm missing something. Oh, Seesaw? Nope. I'm definitely missing something. I don't see anyone else I can talk to. I'm going to try again. Oh, okay, I had three. All right. Got a little stage here. Someone's giving a speech. I wonder where all of this is set. Like, what, uh... Like, why they always go to the same park for everything. All right. Back, back up again? No, 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 no. I'm, I gotta find Joey and Johnny. Um, let's see. I love the uh, the crowd noise too. Like it sounds like a busy place. I'm not crazy about this song. Okay, here we go. Like I love the rest of the soundtrack, but this song a little too happy, bouncy. But they need that kind of stuff, or else the whole soundtrack would be so depressing. Mm mm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Oh man, Joey's the one that loves the pickled uh, pickled olives or whatever it is. Just try it. No, I don't even want to taste regular olives. This it's actually it's really weird that he I don't know if he was forced to adopt all of Joey's old habits by his mom, which is really sad if that's the case. But he ended up thinking he liked all that stuff at least, or at least the olives he did like. Just try at least one, Johnny. Who knows? Maybe you'll like it. Yeah. Okay, mm, nah. I'm done, though. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground and not an inch too far. Just leave that bag, I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine, I want it. Classic little kid. Received a note, pickled olives, so when we go to this, it's gonna say Joey's favorite treat instead. John, oh, Johnny's favorite there. Joey's favorite there. Um, I guess we're gonna try to follow Johnny. He went that away. Oh, we're approaching a quiet moment, I guess. We move, we slowed down quite a bit. Oh, there he is. Let's see what's up. Standing in front of a swing set. He's gonna go. Oh, he's just walking away. Are we? Yep, we're following him. Okay, all right. The uh, the sound effects right now remind me of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Way to follow mom's orders, huh? Yeah, I guess he's a little further than an inch away. Hey, why can't I, uh... Oh, there we go. Let's see where we're going here. You know what? This probably is a different area than Lighthouse area, right? Because it's a little more expansive. They just have parks that look like this. I can't fault them for, you know, using the same design area. Oh, wow. Good good jump. Okay, they're in control. Wow. Nice, good song. This game has these moments where you can stop and look at everything and see how pretty it is, and it's nice. It's really nice. Whoa. You better be careful, this looks like, like a high cliff or something. Wow, yeah, the, the stars look nice. This reminds me of like any time I've ever gone camping. You see the stars best when you're outside the city. Well, okay, so he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. Exactly, Dr. Watts nailed it. But let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. All right, come on, there's no tigers around. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. I don't think that's the biggest problem with the statement. <laughs> it was just an expression. He could have been eaten by a pack of tigers. That's an expression? You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Nice. Yeah? I don't, I don't actually, I'm not big into stars and stuff, but they look nice for five seconds. There was a hill outside of the city that we'd stay at, the same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did mostly, he just carried the telescope for me. That's a nice memory to have, of course. The thing was though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. That's a good granddad right there. 
That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I'd actually slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. When he was like a little kid, drinking slamming coffees to try to pretend to his mom that he slept at night. You're terrible. I know. It's a shame, though. Yeah, I like that the game gives you moments to appreciate how pretty the uh, designs are. All these nice memories lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Yeah, that's true. These are all blocked out for him his entire life, really. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I told you packs of tigers dwell here. Good one, Watts. Real, real clever. So we got somebody approaching. Whoa! I think that's a little, uh, a little river action. Oh, so he met her. He's gonna meet her here. Hello! Whoa. Wait, don't go. And he wouldn't have remembered her. I'm Johnny, what's your name? He wouldn't have remembered this because it was blocked out. You're at my spot. Ah, your spot. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you wanna join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? Man, he's, he's good for a little kid, eh? That was some good banter. Man, that's, that's actually really sad though that they shared this nice memory and she would have remembered it, I'm sure. And he has no idea. Because the beta blockers. As tough as any kind of tragedy like that would be to deal with, I think that, I think that he should have dealt with it. Oh, cool. Whoa. This is like the first time they've ever done anything like this. Wow, just look at him. It's like a little movie cutscene. I love it. Did you know there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, uh, I did too. This is nice. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. He's connecting. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? River's a dope name. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Kids, kids can be dumb. Okay, then. Well, it can't be worse than John. Hey, easy now. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. This is true. There's a lot of Johns. I'm a Jonathan. Even in India? Probably. No. No. What's wrong with that? Uh, yeah, he wanted to be... He was talking about how he, he didn't want to be like everyone else. Hmm. What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? That's, yeah, that's an interesting sentiment. I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. Man, this is a deep conversation by like two eight-year-olds or something. Yeah, I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are anyways? What do you think? My dad said they're giant burning spheres of gas. She was always very literal. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Yeah, I believe that. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. This is true. Santa, Easter Bunny... Whoa, whoa, whoa. He had that spoiled for him at such a long age? I think, I think I was maybe around the same age when I found out Santa and Easter Bunny wasn't real. Stuff like that. Maybe I was around the same age. Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? I'm not good at seeing constellations. I can't, I just can't do it. Yes. I've had people point them out to me a whole bunch of times and maybe I just don't care enough either. I'm of other things, never tried a rabbit though. Clouds on the other hand, I like to look at clouds and pretend they look like stuff, at least I used to. Do you want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever. They're so cute. See who makes one out first. This is a really cool cutscene to like change things up too at the end. Okay, we'll start in three. 
Three, two, one, and start. I see it. Ha! <laughs> or where? In the sky. Very literal. Um, but where in the sky? Think big. Eh. I bet it's gonna be on the moon. Bigger than all the others. Well, the moon's right in the middle of them, so... I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see it. Tell me what you see. I feel like she said that to him when they were older. Tell me what you see. They're right... Oh, a rabbit! That's why she was making all the, um... All the origami. She was trying to get this memory out of him. They're right. They're the two ears and the head. What else? She talked just like this to him. And there, there's its two feet. Yes, what else? And, and the moon. The moon is its big round belly. Ah. Uh, I would have never seen that in real life. I'm sure that's just made up in this game, but. Wow, so she was making all these rabbits to try to get this memory out of him. So what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I, I've never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Act one, quote one. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there and they want to talk to them. But they can't because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. I think that was another quote from like Act 2 or something. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. And she does. I don't know why she like really likes lighthouses so much, but... That bag, what's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won from Whack-A-Mole. Betty didn't get 42. Woo. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What'd you get from it? I got a thing. It's gonna be the platypus. Oh my god, it's gonna be the platypus. I don't really know what it is. This is, in this is incredible. Oh my god. And all those years, she could never get this memory out of him. It's some kind of weird duck beaver thing. I wonder though, I'm not sure. She never saw Joey at this point, so I don't know if she would have known that he had the brother. May I see it? Maybe she maybe she did. It's the platypus. It looks so strange. He gave this to her, and she always kept it. I have, like, the most serious chills right now. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! Oh, that's definitely Joey. Oh, no, okay, eek, that's mom calling. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Smooth move, bro. He got a wife out of this, eh? <laughs> Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. Ooh, he's so smooth. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Let's see you get 42. Huh? Do it. Will you be here next year? Yep. Will you? Yep. Same place, same time. This is so cute. They're eight years old and they have a spot. Yes. What if you forget or get lost? Oh, and he does forget. Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. And that's why they want to go to the moon. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Johnny. I'm so sad right now, like I can't even pay attention. Or it's like kind of weird. You're kind of happy sad because you're seeing such a, a nice moment. Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. He gave her two gifts. Man, that was such a cute moment. Look at her, she's just sitting there with the platypus now. Oh my god. My my heart is like melting. I'm so lame. Ah, uh, but it's so sad that he completely forgot this moment. And I think like this is pretty close to when Joey, you know, passed away. If they ever get lost. Wait, does that mean Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. That's why she says, meet me on the moon kind of thing. Here I thought this was going to be an inspirational childhood dream story. I should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. <laughs> it's been that way this entire time. I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Yeah. Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. 
It's what we are contracted to do. Damn it, Eva, wait. Now, by him going to the moon, Eva, or at least wanting to, I guess, I guess Watts is worried that he's going to lose this memory. I've been struggling with that a little bit. Like, yeah, John's close to death. He's on his deathbed. Would you want to erase those memories for different ones, you know, as your last thing you think of? I think I would, I wouldn't want that. Oh no, you, I know you are in here. Received note, Moon. Let's read that. So Watts is going to try to stop her from doing what she's supposed to do. Ha! <laughs> Dr. Neil Watts, a pretty cool guy. I don't think I remember seeing that note. Who's Tony Atwood? The author of a series of books on River's condition. Oh yeah, okay. What? Uh, oh, Moon. Objective, where Johnny and River are to regroup if they get lost from each other. Oh my god. And she, just before she passes away, she, she had probably told him a few times, meet me on the moon. This is all your fault. What do you mean, Watts? A stuffed toy platypus. Okay, what am I looking for here? I, I mean, I'm looking for Rosaline, I guess. Is there anything else? There's... Yeah, we're in this memory here where Joey... Or Johnny, I should say, first contacts... Or first tells Nicholas about asking her out or something. Whoa. do no no We're in autopilot right now. Turn around. Neil. I know what you're planning to do. I know that you know. <laughs> yeah, well, I know that you know that I know. Look, our contract is to send him to the moon, and the only way for that to happen is if Johnny is motivated to do so. But if that means removing River, then what's the point? Why would they have to remove River? The reason why he even wants to go to the moon in the first place is because she died. Yeah, that's so why would we remove her? I know, but we are legally bound by the contract, specifically the contract. I didn't take this job to make him miserable, Eva. I don't know about you, but I signed up to help the freaking geezers die happy. Me too, and I like this job. But if we directly go against our legal obligations, we'd be in for court hearings. She has a point. I mean, how would anyone know, though? Couldn't they just say? We'll appeal. We know that Johnny'd be happier to not go to the moon. Johnny would be happier with a lot of alternate life tangents, Neil. We are not here to play God. Our job is to give him what he signed for. Well, we happen to know what he wants better than he does. Yeah, he had a bunch of shit blocked out. Look, I'm only risking losing River because I believe in her and... What do you mean risk? You're removing her. And besides, I will make up for it. I don't understand why they have to remove her for him to want to go to the moon. If she's the one that makes him want to go to the moon in the first place. Make up for it how? Unless I guess he's so attached to this world because of River, so if they remove her from the equation, they can just plant a pure desire to go to the moon without anything. We're running out of time. Because when they tried to change everything else, they couldn't. Just trust me. Says the one who pushed me off the fucking lighthouse. <laughs> this, this game's super funny. Whoa, she just like altered a bunch of shit. She just... Freaking light data. Abusing your powers doesn't disable my controls entirely, Eva. They're in a head-to-head -head doctor on doctor battle right now. Whoa, what was that? Booby traps, really, Eva? Just trying to buy some time. Gee, thanks for telling me. Oh. Oh. Man, this is the most gameplay we've had. Oh! Those are some expensive pieces of equipment you're tossing. Seriously, just stay put and wait till I'm done. She's not actually throwing anything. Oh, piss off. Oh. I'm just gonna keep... Look, don't make me exit this whole thing and unplug you. Would you really risk distorting his memories as they are? Yeah, they're playing a dangerous brain game right now. Just stop trying, please. This won't take long. Ugh, not again. So... Ro Rosaline is really in control here. Or come and find me at the end of the hall. I will do that. I'm gonna... I just wanted to step on one to see what would happen. Do no no. What was that? Whoa! Oh, you've got to be freaking... They're... Is this a joke to you, Eva? <laughs> Whoa, they're growling. Dear Lord, they aren't just zombies, Evas. They're zombievas. They're throwing plants. Don't come any closer. I got plants. WSD on the keyboard to shoot. Oh, okay, so we're going, we're going full keyboard action now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So we shoot these plants in directions. This is a, it's kind of a fun, oh, shoot, it's kind of a fun little 
gimmick at the end here. Can I go up the stairs? No. Oh, shit. I'm a little embarrassed how bad I am at this. Woo, these things are good for something after all. Oh, it's, a, it's, it's actually a little embarrassing. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a PC gamer, so WASD is a little foreign to me. Oh, shit. I mean, the, the thing is, these guys can't hurt me. That's just slowing me down from my progress. Oh, we're just, we're just going down the same hallway over and over. Oh, there's balls now. Oh, oh. Eva is doing an excellent job of deterring me right now. Yeah, see, we're just passing the platypuses. I don't know why there's two of them. This whole thing is just a loop. Yeah, we figured that out. This is like the most gameplay-ish thing they've had. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> All right, he's put, he's, he, <laughs> he just launched her through a wall. What the? Let's do it. Yeah, that was the most gameplay they've had all game, which I never have a problem with. I appreciate all the other things there are to appreciate about this game. Um, the story is so much better than I even remember. And the music, the music is so perfect. Eva, what happened? Eva. I'll be uh, creating a, oh. I'll be creating a review video and writing a review for this after I'm finished. But I think you guys can already tell how I feel about the game. Whoa. What else? Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Now the whole construct's messed up. Yeah, there, there's a bed there, a bunch of things here. So she's got a bunch of things jumbled up. Oh, what was that? It's finished, River. She won't be alone anymore. This is a cool section of the game. I just I just don't want to be another typical kid in the sea of typical people, Nick. What is it like? This is when they got married. Just their responsibilities, I suppose. Yeah, this is a really cool section of the game. What is it like? Oh, I, okay, sorry. Okay, let's, let's move on. It helped you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? It helped you understand. Oh, okay. I keep repeating a bunch of stuff. Oh, horses. That was kind of scary. I like that they throw the origami there to kind of tell you you can go there. This is this is John playing Four River. Ah, I love that song so much. What is moving there? Oh, it's their shadows dancing from when they got married. Oh, man. That's the other thing, is the attention to detail in this game was pretty awesome. Oh, I just moved the soccer ball. Oh, this is Joey. Hello. Wait, don't go. Oh, jeez. I'm Johnny. What's your name? Oh, it's Johnny. Okay. How, your spot? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. I'm Johnny, what's your name? Alright. Nothing else in this room, right? Okay, moving on. So Eva's done a great job of just distracting me now with all the memories. Like it was a long time ago. There's no date or time, Johnny. That was when he's asking her out. And it's, it's sad because like, he obviously, they had that shared memory. He ended up having to block it out with the beta blockers. Didn't remember her. She still carried the platypus around. She remembered him. She, she went out with him. She married him. And I mean, I guess maybe for a long time, she would have thought that, you know, he just forgot about that moment, I guess. And maybe she discovered the thing with him. I'm not sure. Hello, Neil. Morpheus. Little Matrix reference. What? It's Eva, you idiot. I wonder when people are going to stop understanding Matrix references. That movie is like, I think from like 1998 or 2000. No shit, we're the only ones here. Oh, I'm trying to fight a sneeze. Listen, whatever you've been doing, stop it. We might not know what Johnny wants, but we know what he doesn't want. And what he doesn't want is exactly what you are accelerating. It's already done, Neil. Yeah, the only reason he wants to go to the moon, like he had this... That's the one thing he knew in his heart that he wanted to go to the moon, but he didn't know why. 
And the reason was that buried memory was because if him and River ever got separated and she's she died, they would meet on the moon. So in his heart, he always knew that. Oh man, it's already done, Neil. So she's erasing River. She had said she believes in her, so I think that she's hoping the two of them will still meet. Why don't you come out now? I mean, like, what's to say they wouldn't meet in school, you know, still? He just has the desire to go be an astronaut, you know? But I mean, maybe that desire to be an astronaut would push him away from, like, a relationship and just focused on his schooling. Alright, where are we going? Oh, there she is. Rosaline. There's River. We get the ominous music again, which is also a very pretty song. She's pulling her out. What'd you do to her? Relax, she's merely going elsewhere. Whoa, what'd she do to me? I'm 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 beeping. You know, it's one thing to disable my controls to feed me some olives. Alright, one moment guys, I just gotta plug in the old computer. So I can keep this thing going. <laughs> 